A campaign season is winding down. TV ads are dominating the airways with candidates telling you why you should pick them. But that is why News Channel 15 decided to invite members of all parties to introduce themselves. Our conversations aren't designed to talk as much about the issues as about the people running themselves. And our next guest in our Meet the Candidates series is Matt Lehman, who is a Republican running to represent District 79. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you, Drew. You are pretty much a Hoosier through and through. You've lived in Southern Adams County, you graduate, graduate of Vincent's University. What has motivated you to stay a Hoosier? Well, I, I'd say probably the biggest part is it's my home. Sure. I mean, I was born and raised here. Uh, multiple generations pre preceded me. I married my high school sweetheart from the small town in, in Southern Adams County. Um, but mostly is, I think Indiana's a great state. It is. It's got a lot to offer. I mean, if, if you travel Indiana, and I, my kids, we've been all over the place, and they'll tell you uh, uh, Indiana holds a lot. I, I live in Indianapolis during the winter, and uh, whether it's arts, entertainment, uh, and then Southern Indiana's beautiful landscaping, and, um, and then industry, you know, we're the, we're the crossroads of America, and so it's a great place to be. You mentioned your kids. What have you loved about raising a family in Indiana? Oh, I think it's uh, cost of living is, is, is a good, uh, I'm from a small town. I'm sure. a small town guy. I like that small town. Uh, small, good public school my kids go to, and, 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 and I think they just, uh, it's a good fit for my family, and, and I think uh, Indiana offers good values and, uh, and, and, and a good place to live. Anything unique, any hobbies that the vo voters might not know about you? <laughs> well, funny you mention hobbies, because yeah. uh, uh, I'm, I'm a history guy. I, I'm a history nut, if you want to say it that way. Uh, student of history, I love the Civil War era, and I do Civil War reenacting. And, and oh, okay. this weekend, there's a big Civil War reenacting down in Hartford City that I would probably be at if I wasn't here, but uh, sure. it, it, it's, it's something that I got into a couple years ago, uh, actually several years ago, just from the standpoint, I, I love taking it to kids. We do a lot of in-school programs, and uh, just to give them the idea of what it was like to live in a different area. And Indiana was very involved in the Civil War, and so that, that kind of brought my attachment to it as well, being, being a Hoosier. Sure, that is definitely something yeah. very unique. Yeah. Glad you brought that up. And you know, the uniform, the guns, and everything. So right. you know, a lot of people find You that also uh, got into something else several years ago. You first got into politics by running for the Adams County Council in the 90s. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to get into politics at that time? Well, I, I've always been a political guy. I mean, as a kid, I always loved politics. Not, not so much the politics of it, um, just the self-government of, of how we're created. And, and for me, I, I'm kind of the end of the baby boomers. And I just felt that, you know, for my generation, it was time to step up. And, and if you're going to influence and make a difference, it was time. And, and so that's what I did. And for those who don't know, Matt already represents District 79, that's which it. is all of Adams County, some of southeastern Allen County and Wells County. What do you think concerns people in those areas the most? Um, it's, a, it's a very rural district. It really is. And so we, we deal a lot of issues, whether it be agriculture related or, or just... Uh, again, kind of bringing some balance to government. We, we just don't want to see government swing too far and, and, and take away people's property rights and things like that. So there's not big, big issues, but there's a lot of issues where they just say, you know, just, just kind of leave us alone in some ways. Uh, a lot of it is just, again, going back to our Hoosier values, uh, let us raise our families and give us good schools, you know, give, give us good institutions that we can send our kids to um, and, and give us a good place to, to call home. Okay, well, Matt, we sure appreciate you coming in this morning and getting to know you a little better. And, uh, you know, I know you've got a lot of busy things to get <laughs> back to on the campaign trail, yeah. so we appreciate well, your thank time. You, Drew. I appreciate it. And Matt's opponent is Mike Snyder. He will join us tomorrow on First News Sunday. We'll be back after this with more First News Saturday.